less crying, go to God with his word. Less crying. Uh, I know that a lot of times we are going through some hardships in our lives. Many times we're going through things that uh, it seems like it's too much to bear, too much to handle, too much for us to get through it. But I just want to drop a word of encouragement to you all today to just uh, go to God with his word. Um, many times um, when I think about the Bible and I think about our lives, our lives, it, it many times it, it reflects the Bible. There's nothing that's in it that we're going through today that's not in it or that we can't relate to what we're going through today. And many of us are still finding ourselves crying and weeping over the same things that we've been weeping over for years and years and years. And I'm not saying, and I'm not telling anyone to not pray about it. There's a difference between praying and crying over the same situation. Uh, many times we go to the Lord in prayer and we say, Father, you know, I need you to fix the situation. I need you to change the circumstance. And um, I need you to handle some things in our lives. And we have to trust God at his word that if he says he's going to do it, he will do it for us. Now, again, I'm not telling anyone not to fervently go to God in prayer because, yes, the Bible says that we are to always pray and not to faint. But there are times in our lives that we take things upon us that cause us to be grievous. Do you understand? There's a difference between praying about things and taking things upon us that makes us grievous. So those things that make us grievous, we have to take it to the Lord in prayer and we have to leave it there, believing and trusting that he's fixing it and that he's going to make everything all right. So when I go to God in prayer, I go to God with his word, trusting and believing that whatever his word said, it shall come to pass. God is a God that honors his word. So when you go to him with his word, he honors his word. The Bible says clearly that he watched God over his word to perform it. I'm also reminded that how um, in the Bible, um, David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. So how do we go to God in prayer? We have to know him and we have to read his word and study his word and hide his word in our heart. If we hide his word in our heart, we'll be able to go to him with the word. We'll be able to remind him of his word. Not that he's a God that forgets, but it's just like, almost like my mind go back to a child. When you promise a child something, they go back to you and they say, hey, mom, you told me last week that you was going to do do this or hey dad you told me you was going to do this for me and it delights us that our children remember what we said and it gives us the unction to want to make sure that we provide and we take care of our children so on this year let's do less crying and go to God with his word that's what we have to do God is moved by his word and he also is moved by faith that's a very big part of it Yes, he sees our tears. Yes, he he knows our emotions. He walked among us. So he know what it's like to hurt. The Bible even said that he himself wept. So he know what it's like to be grievous. He know what it's like to cry. But there comes a point where you cannot let it be too grievous, where it caused you to make yourself sick. And that's a distraction in your life because you cannot do the things of the Lord if you're always worrying about everything. You cannot do the things of the Lord if you're always battling and fighting and crying and weeping. There comes a time when you have to say, God, I trust you with your word. You promised it. So I stand on your promises. I speak the word of the Lord over my life. I speak the word of the Lord over my children. I speak the word of the Lord over my marriage. I speak the word of the Lord over my family. I speak the word of the Lord over my business. I speak the word of the Lord over my ministry. And that's what we have to do. We have to speak the word of the Lord. We have to go to God with his word and stop crying and stop letting it be so grievous and stop carrying that burden day after day day after day. Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We shouldn't have to be carrying the things of the world on our shoulders at all times. That's why we serve a God that carries our burdens. He said his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Apostle Paul also said, lay aside every weight that easily beset you. So every little problem and every circumstance that easily beset you, you have to lay it aside. So this year, we're going to do less crying and we're going to go more to God with his word. God, I stand on your word. God, I stand on your promises. Your promises are yay and amen. 
So I speak to the heart of someone today that may be grieving over, over a child or over a job or over finances or over your marriage or over your ministry or over your business. I speak a word to you today to go to God with his word and trust God with his promises. He will not let you fall. He will not let you go under. You have to trust the God that's in you. That when you go to him, you go boldly to the throne of grace. That you that you may be able to obtain mercy in the time of need. And it's so important. God, I, I don't believe it's God's will for us to walk around grievous. Grievous. I don't believe it's his will for us to walk around suffering all the time. Yes, we will have problems in this world. Yes, we will have pain. Yes, we will have disappointment. Yes, death will knock on our doors. But God does not mean for us to carry it around with us. He does not mean for us to weigh us down. Lift your head up, beloved. Lift your head up, my brother and sister. Stop crying about it. Leave it in God's hand. Wipe those tears. Say, God, I trust you. I trust you today with my life. I trust you today with my pocket, with every bit of my finances. I may not know how everything is going to get paid. I may not know how everything is going to get done, but I trust you on this day, God. We have to go to God with his word. We have to go to him with his word. Less crying. The Bible said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. We weren't meant to be crying all the time. There comes a season of joy. There comes a period of joy. It's coming. It's coming if you trust God and if you believe. If you believe. And there's also a time where I have to say this. There is a time where we have to help ourselves. There are some things that we can do to better situations. And the things that we can do to better those situations is our responsibility to do those things. The things we cannot handle, God has it covered. God has it in control. He's already making a way out of no way. He's already doing everything he needs to do. But there comes a time also where there's a period where he needs to teach you and he needs to groom you. And no, it's not going to always feel good. And the pressures of life going to sometime attack us. And it's not going to always feel good. And yes, we may shed a tear or two. And we may throw a, a, a little tantrum. And we may start to vent and complain and murmur. And that's okay for a moment. And as I said, that's okay for a moment. But don't get stuck there. Less crying. Less crying. Go to God with his word. 